Chapter 3 And Solomon beginneth to build the house of Jehovah in Jerusalem in the Mount of Moriah, where he appeared to David his father, in the place that David had prepared, in the threshing floor of Ornan the Jebusite. And he beginneth to build in the second day, in the second month, in the fourth year of his reign. And in these hath Solomon been instructed to build the house of God. The length in cubits by the former measure is sixty cubits, and the breadth twenty cubits. As to the porch that is on the front, the length is by the front of the breadth of the house twenty cubits, and the height a hundred and twenty, and he overlayeth it within with pure gold. And the large house he hath covered with fir trees, and he doth cover it with good gold, and causeth to ascend on it palms and chains. And he overlayeth the house with precious stone for beauty, and the gold is gold of Parvaim. And he covereth the house, the beams, the thresholds, and its walls, and its doors with gold, and hath graved cherubs on the walls. And he maketh the most holy house. Its length is by the front of the breadth of the house twenty cubits, and its breadth twenty cubits, and he covereth it with good gold, to six hundred talents. And the weight of the nails is fifty shekels of gold, and the upper chambers he hath covered with gold. And he maketh in the most holy house two cherubs, image work, and he overlayeth them with gold. As to the wings of the cherubs, their length is twenty cubits, the wing of the one is five cubits, touching the wall of the house, and the other wing is five cubits, touching the wing of the other cherub. And the wing of the other cherub is five cubits, touching the wall of the house, and the other wing is five cubits, adhering to the wing of the other cherub. The wings of these cherubs are spreading forth twenty cubits, and they are standing on their feet, and their faces are inward. And he maketh the veil of blue, and purple, and crimson, and fine linen, and causeth cherubs to go up on it. And he maketh at the front of the house two pillars, thirty and five cubits in length, and the ornament that is on their heads five cubits. And he maketh chains in the oracle, and putteth on the heads of the pillars, and maketh a hundred pomegranates, and putteth on the chains. And he raiseth up the pillars on the front of the temple, one on the right, and one on the left and calleth the name of that on the right, Jachin, and the name of that on the left, Boaz.